So what's involved in buying an airplane? The first question that you need to ask yourself and answer is what are you going to use the airplane for? Everything will stem from the answer to this question. And you need to be honest because if you're not honest with yourself, you will not be happy with your decision. So why do you want to buy an airplane? Do you want a time builder? Do you want to get your private pilot's license in it? Which is something I wish I would have done. Do you want to get your instrument rating or commercial rating? Or do you want something that you can go places in? Now, since I brought this issue up, I want to say one word about going places or commuting. And this is pretty important. Remember, general aviation is not the airlines. And the saying, time to spare, go by air, you really need to live by that. Last year at Sun and Fun, I saw John and Martha King speak, and there is probably no one more experienced or highly regarded than these two in the general aviation community. So to put it briefly, problems start when commuting begins. Remember, you don't have to be anywhere in general aviation. So my thought is, if you have to commute, take Southwest. Do not buy an airplane because you need to get somewhere. That's what the airlines are for. So. Answer the question, what do you want the airplane for? This will also make the decision of how long you're going to keep the airplane for and what your ultimate budget will be. So if you want a time builder, you can spend about $25,000 to $50,000 for a good one. And you're going to have to put some money into it still. Like, is it ADSB compliant? Is it IFR ready? And what problems does it have? Because they're all going to have something. Which leads me to my next point get your airplane inspected. This is $15 to $1,700 well spent, and you have to look at it that way. You are spending this money to possibly save you from making a bad purchase, or save you from a possible $50,000 bad purchase. And if it doesn't pass the inspection, or if you don't like it, or if you feel wrong, or if the inspector says don't buy this airplane, you have to be able to walk away. I bought a 1968 Cardinal and I had mine inspected by Keith Peterson who runs Cardinal Flyers online. And if you are buying a Cardinal, get Keith to do your inspection. You go to Cardinal Flyers online to reach him. And you will also learn a ton just by shadowing the inspector during the inspection. And now I actually know what to look for for additional problem areas that we should have looked a little bit more closely, like my nose gear. Now, in my I Bought an Airplane video, I go over the specific numbers on what I paid for my plane. So you can go back and have a look at that program and I actually go over the numbers. And it is pretty affordable if you're going to be buying an airplane. But remember, I do have to make some upgrades in my plane. So number one, I need a new ADS-B transponder. That's about $3,500. My attitude indicator and my directional gyro need to be reconditioned, and that's about $1,500 for the pair. My King KX155 needs new displays, and that's $1,500, but that's a slide-in replacement, so I don't have to do, worry about an installation on that one. And I will try to exchange my PMA 6000 for a PMA 7000 audio panel. And that's also a slide in replacement, but that's going to be about 1500 bucks as well. So all in all, I'm going to have to put about 10 grand into the plane to get everything I need. But after, I'm going to have an IFR certified plane to finish my commercial rating in and my instrument rating in. And I'm going to keep it for a few years just to get the time out of it and move on when the time is right. I've got about 1,100, maybe 1,200 hours on the engine right now, so I've still got some space. And I love my plane, but I'm already wanting something more powerful and wanting something a little faster. So that's going to wait and the right time will come. So if this program produced more questions than answers for you, that's good. If you are serious about getting a plane, my one piece of advice is don't buy a piece of junk or don't buy a project, especially if it's your first plane. You will not save any money. Remember, this is not a boat. You can't work on it yourself. You have to get a mechanic to work on it and they don't come cheap. So buy the plane that you want in the shape that you want it in. You will not save any money by buying a cheaper plane. Also, buy a little more airplane than you need. That way you can grow into it and you can still use it. And you won't be dealing with a mechanic for the first few months of ownership. 
Overall, don't be cheap. It will cost you in the long run. So let me know what you think and hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time. Thanks again for your comments.